Hello, my name is Paladin, and this is a Dead by Daylight discussion thing, I guess. Uh, if, if I'm exhibiting short speech patterns or slow speech patterns right now, it's because I got my second dose of uh, the COVID-19 Moderna vaccine about nine hours ago, so I'm starting to feel the drowsiness. But uh, I wanted to get this done, so uh, yeah, let's have a discussion. Now, when I stream Dead by Daylight, I only stream Killer for a variety of reasons, including oversaturation of Survivor gameplay and content creation to just the the monotonous nature of Survivor gameplay. It's just like, it's all the same, you know? W, E, hold them one. W, E, hold them one. I, I can't even stomach it unless it's someone that I actually know personally. And before you say anything, I play a lot of Survivor. I do not play Killer off stream. I stopped doing that to prevent any kind of burnout, which is very common in DVD. I play a lot of Survivor off stream though, a lot. I probably play way more Survivor than I do Killer if I'm being perfectly honest out of my almost 7,500 hours in this game. So now that we have that out of the way, one thing that when I'm streaming or even in my YouTube comments that I always get asked and it happens every single time is what's my play style? How do I play? And why do I play that way? So I'll give you an answer. As with most people, I find winning a lot more fun than losing. And the argument could even be made that nobody particularly finds losing fun, which is a big problem in Dead by Daylight. Because of that, when I play any game, whether it's Survivor, Killer, or any other game that's not DVD, I play purely to win because winning is fun for me. And I will take every advantage presented to me, even if that means tunneling a Survivor off hook, you know, because they were an easier target, or, you know, hard proxying a hook because I know the team is very altruistic and they'll hand me those downs in the win. Slugging every single survivor if they give me an opportunity, no matter how many gens are there. If they're grouped up in one spot and I'm a Bubba, or I'm a nurse, or I'm a, I'm a doctor with eight stacks to save the best for last, I'm gonna try and put you all down. Like, I'm not really concerned with length of the game, and the thing is, the reason I play like this is because, again, I like to win. Winning, as it happens, is fun for me, and I feel like the killer's fun in this community is extremely disregarded. That's the best way I can put it, extremely disregarded, because you hear nonstop about how this is unfun to go against, how this thing is unfun to go against, and it's always survivors complaining about killer, but the second a killer says, well, you know what, Dead Hard's not very fun to go against, or Exhaustion Perks in general aren't very fun to go against, you know, Prove Thyself isn't fun to go against, Keys aren't fun to go against, they're told to get good. Survivors playing Ormond offerings or Haddonfield offerings. You know, when we tell them we don't like that, when we say that's not fun for us, we're told, well, just pressure Jen's baby killer. But the second the killer starts playing to win, survivors go all shocked Pikachu face like, wait a minute. And then the killer, you know, they're told they're garbage. They're told they're trash. They're told to kill themselves. I've even had survivors not only come into my chat and threaten to kill me and my whole family. I've had survivors after I killed them come into chat. This was a blend specifically against clown on the old clown map, uh, Father Campbell's Chapel. Literally say they were going to rape my girlfriend because I killed them in a video game in a way they didn't like. But I'm the bad guy because I played the video game. I played the video game in a way that is 100% within the rules of the video game, but for some reason because it went against this imaginary bullshit rule book that the community has been perpetuating since the dawn of this game, and we all know where it starts, I'm, a, I'm just a piece of garbage because I played to win. I think something that in this community needs to be normalized is when you lose, you need to not take it so personally, and even I'm guilty of this, I sometimes get really mad at this game. But the community as a whole has this issue where if they lose, they just can't just move on next. They have to find an outlet. They have to blame someone. And people will sit here and say, well, camping and tunneling is toxic. All this stuff is toxic. No, what's really toxic is the entitlement that you think you have to survive. You are not entitled to survive. You are not entitled to a fun time. You're not even entitled to a long match. You're not even entitled to do a generator if, if I don't want to let you do one. If I want you out of the game as soon as possible, because I am a ruthless player, I will try and take someone out early. You're not entitled to that. Just like I am not entitled to not have you use that hard. I'm not entitled to win every game, even though I, again, win most of my games. I'm not entitled to that. And we need to normalize that for both sides, 
Playing to win is okay. We need to normalize that the community needs to realize this is just a game. It's not real life. And if you lose, you might lose a pip. And if you care about pips, that's a you problem, not a game problem. Pips are meaningless. And at the end of the day, survivors complain nonstop about queue times. Maybe you guys should stop and ask yourselves why queue times are long. Aside from during the event, but that's different. You should stop and ask yourselves why queue times are so long. It's because no one wants to play killer. Because if they play killer, if they try to play to win, they get shamed for it. They get shit talked for it. And not a lot of people can handle that. I'm here because I can deal with it. I think it's hilarious. But a lot of people don't want to deal with that. And it's because you guys cannot take an L. And I'm not saying that it's survivor exclusive because it's not. There's a lot of douchebag killers out there, myself included, who sometimes take shit too personally and can't take an L. It just happens. And this is something I also need to work on. But the community, again, as a whole, needs to learn to take an L. Needs to learn that that we are not here to babysit each other. We're here to to survive and we're here to kill. That is our literal objective. It's pretty goddamn black and white. But yeah, that's it. That's how I play. And that's why I play. I play to win because I like to win because winning is fun for me. I will tunnel. I will camp. I will take every advantage that is given to me, that is presented to me in any way, shape or form. Just as I expect survivors to, which they should absolutely do. They should use those perks that they want to use. They should use all the crutches in the world because I'm not going to not do it for the sake of their fun. They shouldn't do it for the sake of mine because like I said at the beginning of the video, nobody particularly enjoys losing and that's something the community needs to understand. But yeah, this has been Paladin. It turned from a story or an answer into a rant, but I did answer the question. So later nerds.